Hello everyone, so today I'm here to do the Playing With The Emotions book slash movie tag created by the lovely Pad Foot and Prongs 07 if I am not mistaken. If you're looking for the movie tag of this video, please stick around, I'm going to do that um, after the book one, or if you don't want to wait, it'll be right here. Happy I picked Perfect Chemistry by Simone Alcalaz, and the reason why I picked it is because quite literally this book makes me happy. It's full of romance and just stuff like that. A lot of people have picked um, Anna and the French Kiss, but I like Perfect Chemistry more than Anna, so that's why I picked it. For Sad, I picked The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold and My Sister's Keeper by Jodi Picoult because they are sad books. Like, I don't cry often with books, but these books literally made me cry. Especially Lovely Bones. Holy crap, that was sad. Angry, Pandemonium by Lauren Oliver. Yes, I love that book, but yes, I hated that ending. Cliffhanger much? Seriously, like, seriously, the ending, like, I knew it was gonna happen, and I knew it was gonna be left on a cliffhanger, but it was, like, sucky McGee. I'm like, what? Really? 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 It made me really angry. Nostalgic, I'm gonna be one of those girls and pick the Harry Potter series. We're scared. I don't try to read many scary books because I hate scary things. Disappointed, The Abundance of Catherine's by John Green. Everyone loves John Green. Oh, you love John Green? You love John Green? You love John Green? Oh, you love John Green? Oh, you, eh, ev everybody loves John Green, but me, it seems. It has been the only attempt of a John Green novel I've read, and it severely disappointed me. I couldn't finish it. I hated it. But here's to hoping for Papers Towns and Looking for Alaska, because I heard they're amazing books, and The Fault in Our Stars, so... I hope to love John Green. Surprise! The Immortal Rules by Julie Kagawa. I was not a huge fan of her The Iron Face series because quite frankly I don't like fairy novels so I wasn't hoping much for The Immortal Rules. I was hoping for a vampire novel but it really genuinely surprised me and I absolutely loved it. My review on that should be coming soon or if it's not already up. Distressed. The Lord of the Rings series by J.R.R. Tolkien. I have not read any of them. I have attempted to read The Fellowship of the Ring way, 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 way back ago, and it distressed me because they are so thick and so many of them, and I'm so behind, and holy crap, and I can't even think about what else to say because it just distresses me thinking about it. I should read them. I should really, really read them. It's confused, and I'm going to put The Death Cure by James Shashner, quite frankly, because this book made me feel a lot of emotions. Angry, sad, blah, blah, blah. And I was just quite frankly confused because I just wanted it to end and wanted all the missing pieces to come back together and it just kept felt it felt like another like me. Right, so that was the book tag and here goes the movie one. Happy! I'm gonna pick my favorite movie ever. It's 10 Things I Hate About You. That makes me feel happy every time I watch it. I can quote the whole thing. And it started my love of George Joseph Gordon is that how you say his name? Joseph Gordon Hewitt. And Thank you for that because he is pretty beautiful and a pretty awesome actor. It's sad. I love her so obviously Marley and me. I love dogs. You know you're gonna love that movie because it makes you happy because it's about dogs and you know that dog's gonna die and you know you're gonna cry like a baby every time you watch it. Also, A Walk to Remember, I dare you, I literally, literally, literally dare you to watch that movie without crying. Just saying, if you can do it, you're so much better than me because I can't. I can't even watch that movie because It'll be like, ah. Angry. There are some movies that have made me angry. Ella Enchanted and The Last Song. Why? Because I love the books so much and the movie sucked so bad. Like, holy crap, they sucked. Ella Enchanted, the movie, like, I haven't, I haven't even watched that movie because I know I'm going to be upset if I watched it. It's all about happy and fun and stuff like that. And the book is not like that at all. I was like, what? What? And the last song. I love that book and the movie was awful. Yes, you Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth Swallowers. I don't hate you, I hate the movie. And it was awful and I loved I loved the book so much and the movies just really, really sucked and they made me really angry. Nostalgic, The Little Rascals. Every time I watch that, which is not often because I'm not a little kid anymore, um, it makes me makes me think of the good old days when I was a kid and being outside was fun and not scared I don't watch any scary movies I've watched some but I don't watch them because they scare me so every scary movie will probably always scare me and there's not one that tops the other one for me stressed the hunger games because 
<sighs> that book distressed me and the mood distressed me because I was constantly biting my nails and being like, what's gonna happen next? What's gonna happen next? I don't know what's gonna happen next. What's gonna happen next? Confused. Two movies, which I both love, but they both confuse me. And that is gonna be Inception and The Source Code because they are great action movies and great suspense movies and great movies that make you say, what is going on? Like, did how did this happen and how did this happen and how do they relate? Does this happen and this happen and this happen and happen and wait, wait, what? How did that happen? Wait, did you see that? Did that mix up? Did that make sense? Wait, oh, I get it now. Nope, I don't, I don't get it at all. Yeah, those confused the mess out of me. Disappointed, post-grad. The reason why it disappointed me and probably no one has seen it is because it was a indie movie and I love indie movies and also it had Alexis Blendell of the of the Gilmore Girls, which I love, love, love the Gilmore Girls. Like that's my all-time favorite show. It disappointed me because that movie was so bad, and I was looking forward to it being good. I was like, you're gonna skyrocket your career. You were on a great, great Gilmore Girls. Now you're gonna be great movie star, and it just went. Da, da, da. And it never came back up. It's still like right here, the tipping point. So just come on, Alexis Splendell, You can go up that hill. Just do it. Surprised Anchorman. <laughs> my, my husband has definitely helped shape my humor to what it is now. Um, if I wasn't married to him, if I wasn't watching the same movies as him, I would probably hate Anchorman. But just um, being married to him and, you know, finally understanding some, or just being married to him and seeing all those movies, it generally surprised me. And it's one of my all time favorites. Like, Anchorman is amazing. If you have not seen Anchorman, what are you doing? Go stop and watch it right now because it's amazing. And it surprised me because I thought it was going to be dumb and stupid and dumb. And it's all those things, but it's also amazing. So that was my book slash movie tag. I tag you and 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 you. I tag everybody. If you have not done this video, go do it. And while you're at it, have a great day. All right. Bye.